Hi guys, I just wanted to go over what our lab is looking like today for those of you who are absent or missed my class. Um, so we watched the commercial for the Bounty Paper Towel last Friday and I told you to be thinking of an experiment we could demonstrate uh, their claim and prove their claim to be true using claim evidence reasoning and the scientific method. So Bounty's claim was that their selecticized piece was 50% more absorbent than the leading competitor's full size piece. Um, so your job was to, with your group, design a test uh, that you could test this claim. So you basically had to come up with a procedure for an experiment to test this claim. So um, many groups have done a couple different types of experiments, but the, the two most popular are uh, measuring the volume of the absorbency of the paper towel and measuring the mass of the absorbency. So uh, these are graduated cylinders. So some people put in the same amount of water in each graduated cylinder, uh, for example, 25 milliliters. We measure volume in milliliters with these graduated cylinders. Uh, so they put in 25 milliliters of water and then they placed each type of paper towel, uh, bounty in one, the off-brand in another, and left them in for a period of time, for example, 30 seconds. And then um, when they took the paper out, towel out, they recorded what was left over. So it, what was left over was what was not absorbed. So they needed to calculate what was absorbed. So they had to set up a subtraction problem. 25 was what they started with. So whatever was left, they subtracted. So for example, if 10 milliliters was left, they'd say 25 minus 10, so the absorbed water was 15 milliliters. And then they did the same thing with the other brand of paper towel. So they found the absorbency and compared the two absorbencies to see which one was more. And so I had them run a couple trials and uh, people were finding that Bounty was more absorbent and I'm having them create a presentation of that. So uh, that's what you missed. Um, we went through the steps of the scientific method. So I'm gonna show you this. Um, we had to make our, we took our claim, we went through the commercial and analyzed the evidence and we came up with a reasoning statement. And then for our test, we had to test the key question, which I gave to you, which type of paper towel was most absorbent. The hypothesis was then our claim. Uh, we claim that Bounty is 50% more absorbent than the, the other brand. And so here was our brainstorming piece. The students sketched their ideas and uh, kind of made a, a, a brainstorming uh, ID8 uh, box so that they could use to work through their experiment. They had to pick the materials they were going to use. I did have some um, groups who chose to take the mass of the paper towel before and after they poured, uh, they placed it in a certain amount of water. So that was also fine but their measurement for absorbency would have been a mass of water absorbed in grams. So you got to choose whether what, what materials you wanted to use uh, for this. And then um, most importantly, we wanted to talk about variables. So um, the control variables had to be the same in both, uh, both experiments for Bounty and for the off-brand. And uh, that is important because you can only test one thing at a time your experimental variable. So we have our control variable in our um, milliliters scenario. We had 25 milliliters of water in each. That was a controlled variable because we have to put the same amount of water in each so that we know that um, we were attempting to absorb the same amount of water. Um, another variable was that we put each paper towel, each paper towel in for the same amount of time, um, 20 seconds, them had a minute, but that was a control variable also, the amount of time. You need to put each paper towel in at the same time and take them out at the same time because we're not gonna, uh, we don't want our time to be a part of our experimental variable. Uh, your control, uh, your experimental variable, your, it ended up being that your dependent variable was the absorbency however you measured it, in grams or milliliters, and your independent variable was the type of paper towel. So if you put it in the sentence frame, the absorbency was dependent upon the type of paper towel, you can figure out your dependent and independent variable quickly. 
And then of course we had a step-by-step -step procedure because in science you need to repeat and be able to find uh, the same information.